Hi Aries, welcome to my channel, welcome back to my channel, Trying to Divine Tarot, I'm trying, I'll be doing a love reading for you today, how y'all doing, I missed you guys so much, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, it does so much for my channel, and I greatly appreciate you all, also if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can find all that information in the description box below, alright, let's get into your reading. Two overall energies for the beautiful Aries in love. Let's see. In love. Ooh, we have the lion. Okay. So somebody is going to move in abruptly with something passionate to say. All right. There's that Leo passion filled, fire filled energy. Quite possibly a masculine. But it's something, something needs to be revealed. Someone needs to get something off their chest. And they're going to be courageous. They're going to be brave and make the move. They could have been holding back, but now there's no more holding back. But I also feel it's the catalyst is some sort of battle royale, some sort of competition for you, Aries. Okay, because the lion is only in this energy when he needs to fight off and defend a competitor. Okay? <laughs> All right, let's see what else for the Aries. Oh my gosh, luck. Because somebody's coming across a four-leaf clover, all right? A rare find, a gem, a diamond in the rough, okay? Their other half. There are, you know, four leaves, okay? It's like your other half. So, whatever this opportunity is, whatever this person, place, or thing is, it's worth protecting. It's worth fighting for. Because whatever it is, it's so rare. Okay? All right. Let's see. We have lion. Or somebody's lion. We'll see what this is. Harness the loyal and protective aura of the lion and charge ahead magnificently. So somebody wants to protect something. Somebody wants to claim territory. The lion is very territorial. Okay, so <laughs> someone says, that's mine. That's my four-leaf clover. That's my lucky charm. Okay, it says, luck, your right to be strong and optimistic about the opportunity ahead. So somebody feels confident in their decision, person, place, or thing. And it's worth fighting for. It's worth protecting. All right. So this is could be you, Aries. This is what's coming in for you. Oh, my gosh. All right. Let's get into it with the Kipper. Ooh, okay. <laughs> the way up the man was at the bottom. All right. So somebody who's ready to invest in a situation. All right. Come forward. Speak their truth. Open up. All right. Why is the lion in luck here for... The Aries energy in love. Ooh, marriage, some sort of proposal, some sort of commitment and dedication. Okay, somebody sees somebody as their other half. Somebody's ready to claim territory here, change somebody's last name. This is what's on somebody's mind. But somebody needs to make the move. I don't know if this is an announcement, a, a proposal, or somebody's. Somebody never thought it could happen, or they're never going to find their map, but they did. They finally are coming across their person. And what is that? Like <laughs> when their life flashes before their eyes. But I feel like some sort of flash happened where there was this recognition, where there was like. I've loved this person before, and I need to love them again in this lifetime, okay? What else came out? Ooh, we have imprisonment. So somebody was holding back their feelings. Or there is some sort of commitment that was holding somebody back. Maybe somebody was in a relationship. Uh, I don't know. Okay? This is the feeling of being held back, stagnation. Um, okay. Or somebody is fearful of commitment. 
even though they see somebody as the person they want to spend the rest of their life with, it scares them. This energy scares somebody because of how intense they feel. So, also, there's this little rat here that might have gotten back to your person um, that caused some sort of delay, causing somebody from coming forward. But like I said, and you might have had this energy in your last reading. You can't trust a rat. This rat might be crushing on your person and relaying, you know, misinformation to keep you held back from your person so they can make their move in. You can't trust a rat. Somebody set out a rat to, to dig around, find out some, some information, and, and they're not getting the full story, okay? And maybe this is the energy that's pissed about it because it's causing a battle royale. The same rat that like, you trusted to go get you some information on your person is the same person that... I'm getting... The, what was that movie? Something about me. <laughs> Something about Mary? Like, they sent out someone to investigate Mary in the background or, you know, like this private investigator. And then in the end, the private investigator fell for Mary head over heels and was getting back to the person that hired the Oogie Woogie or whatever. <laughs> um misleading information so they wouldn't crush on, on Mary anymore so they could have the chance with her I don't know something like that or I don't know somebody's lying about being in a relationship or a connection that was that possibly could have been found out alright another one <laughs> or the Aries I feel like also, somebody is doing the most, okay? <laughs> like, like, really following someone closely in hopes that there's some sort of reveal. But, and this person or this rat in the background doesn't want somebody to find out about it, doesn't want somebody to know. But they're not finding anything. They're not kicking up that much dirt, you know? It's not. <laughs> but they are doing the most in the background. I'm feeling like, I don't know, they're following you very closely, all right? See if they, they can piece things together, but they're piecing them together in the wrong way. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Another one for the Aries. Oh, okay, we have the journey card. So we have an ending, we have a beginning, we have that world energy as ruled by the ten. Tens bring in endings, okay? But it's it brings in endings that are like finalizations, end of the road, time to move on. So somebody's closing out some chapters or wrapping things up. So they can have a new beginning somewhere else. All right. This is the locomotion. It's when you get on the train to destiny. The train moves forward. It's that chariot energy. It's a win. It's a victory. There will be a win. There will be a victory someplace else that you've been guided to go. Okay. All right. And quite possibly that's where your person is. All right. Another one for the Aries. Oh, here we are. <laughs> Aries energy. Okay, this is 22. It's some mess. The number. All right, two plus two is four. Four is the Emperor card in traditional tarot. So somebody wants to make a situation official. Somebody's taking charge. Somebody's taking the reins. Somebody's ready to make some shit happen. Okay. All right, I told you. It's like a dominant masculine energy. Um, they're very admired for what they do but they are the leader they are the head they are the CEO they have a lot of responsibilities a lot of people look up to them they are a shot caller all right they call the shots 
but they really haven't they've been doing something in the background okay because their sword is not raised the sword represents communication but it's out so i feel like there's a big time reveal a big time uh, communication somebody's ready to what is that enter the dragon <laughs> I don't know. somebody's ready to come forward but they had to be in this like winner take all dominant brave and courageous energy because like I said whatever this connection is is a little scary and out of their comfort zone so this is how they have to approach the situation because they don't want to miss this once in a lifetime opportunity with someone that they see a future with okay and now the realization that a rat was getting back to them <laughs> that they sent out or whatever that they were behind this rat energy um, and was misleading and giving them misinformation and they're pissed someone's pissed about it okay this is you Aries this is them one more <laughs> All right, for the Aries. Okay, yeah, that, oh my gosh. There's a song right now that's playing in the background, instrumental, kind of Muzak, but it reminds me, and I don't think it is, but and I told you that uh, mm, it's really coincidental that this song is playing because I know I said they don't want you to know. And that is part of the lyric to that song. Um, the artist, the, the band is the Goo Goo Dolls. Uh, because I don't want you to know who I am. Oh, I give up forever to touch you. Or something like, I, uh, God, I don't know what the song, but those are lyrics in the song. It's really beautiful. I, I, I'm really sorry, but if you Google, if you Google the Goo Goo Dolls and um, you Google a few of those lyrics that I just mentioned, it will pull up the whole song and the song lyrics and maybe play that song because this is what I'm really feeling. And it's a really beautiful song, okay? <laughs> All right, and now we have the four of wands, which is happiness, joy, marriage, commitment, engagement, something about a home, a structure. Somebody sees a life with you. Somebody might be scouting out uh, real estate properties because they want to build a happy home with someone. It's definitely on their mind. The four of wands is the 11, the 11, the twin flame card. All right. Also, if you are in a relationship already, somebody's ready to move it to the next level. If you're just dating and you both live in separate locations, somebody really wants to move in together. If you guys are already in that situation, somebody's thinking about popping the question, <laughs> okay? But marriage is on somebody's mind, but somebody was holding something, you know, Somebody was a little stagnant about moving forward, all right? Okay, let's see what we get with the tarot. What is this all for the Aries? Aries, tell us about Aries person. Okay, so we have the death card, which is the endings card, I told you. Something's about to end, so something can shift, so something can begin, okay? Could be dealing with Scorpio or something, a big change, a big shift is going to happen in Scorpio season. Okay. Oh, here it is again. That stuckness, that holding back deliberately. Okay. <laughs> so, um,. The hangman mode is somebody that's holding back until they have all the facts. They're comfortably waiting, okay? They're comfortably waiting. They're comfortably holding back. Uh, 
because they feel like there's something else they need to know before they move forward. But I feel like that's just an excuse, okay? Because somebody is just wants to be committed, but they're scared. And they feel like there's something that they don't know before they move forward. And they're spe this little wrath, this little spe speculation energy is like somebody's trying to piece a puzzle together without the actual pieces that belong to this puzzle. Okay. <laughs> All right. More for Aries person. Oh my God. What did I say? <laughs> they love you. All right. They want to bridge the gap. They want to make the connection point A to point B. Look at the house. Look at the home. All right. They want to have it all with someone. Now, is that what they're reflecting on the outside? I don't think so. But this is how they feel on the inside. All right. Oh my gosh. One more for Aries person. <laughs> oh my God. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> I told you they're in love. They're harboring some really deep emotions for you Aries that they haven't been showing but they're going to be courageous and brave and they're going to start making the effort and they're going to make you know, okay? But yeah, they do love and care and they're very emotional about you. They have a big old glass of love that they want to share. They want to drink out of this chalice together, okay? All right. So that's your per How does the Aries feel about their person? Okay. You might have been waiting for this person for quite some time. You may have made other attempts or maybe you've you've tried but got scared and pulled away. But I think that you're willing to give it another chance because you just feel this draw. You just feel this connection. But somebody, you might surrender to this. When they come forward, you might surrender and say, okay, yes. After trying several times to get your person's attention, but they weren't like responding the way that you expected them to or the way that you wanted to also i feel like you're making it out of like you're transitioning out of a different era in your life or something like that like you're making it to the other side i think somebody's going to surrender to this relationship okay <laughs> All right, because the, the Knight of Wands is, you know, somebody that has faced a lot of battles but lives to fight another day. All right, so you, you might just, okay. <laughs> All right. Because you've been waiting a long time for this person or this situation. What did I say? This person has been watching you or watching your progress, watching your journey. Here, this little squirrel in the tree, this little rat. Okay, this little tree rat. <laughs> um, trying to look for a sabotage, trying to look for an excuse to wait longer, okay, to cause delays. But somebody's very careful. And the Knight of Pentacles is the only night of all nights to cross the finish line and claim the prize, okay? So they're gonna make it. You're gonna make it, all right? <laughs> all right, another one for how Aries feels for their person. So I'm saying like, you, you might have like, just started pouring into your own journey, but and focused on your own self and your own life all the while, you know, still having a spot in your heart for your person, but not letting it take over you. And whether you knew it or not, this person was watching over you and tracking your progress, okay? All right, yep, three uh, of pentacles, wanting to come in, want to uh, celebrate, wanting to collaborate, wanting to enjoy um, this is like an invitation. This is also that celebration when you cross the finish line, okay? 
So something is about to happen. Something is about to shift because somebody's speaking up. Look at the sword is out. What did I say? From the sword be it's okay. <laughs> it wasn't raised, but it's there, okay? It's there. Somebody wants to speak up and speak their truth. Somebody's gonna come in very matter of fact, okay? Um, they might not come in all lovey dovey, but what needs to be said will be said to get the point across. The, the, the sword is out, the sword is raised. Also, if there's competition, this is the energy is fuck around with what's mine and find out, okay? So <laughs> somebody's ready to defend what they think is theirs. And like I said, somebody's coming in to claim the prize. All right, let's get a few love messages for the Aries. Love messages for the Aries. Whoa. Okay. Forgiving and, or sorry, healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. But what I'm getting, uh, that could resonate with somebody. All right. Somebody could be behaving in ways that they saw their parents behave regarding love or something like that but if this is not the case somebody just wants um to heal a situation that was prolonged and they're sorry that they took so long is what i'm feeling all right another one for aries attraction okay <laughs> somebody is so attracted to their person it, that they can't hide it they can't deny it anymore okay like somebody's like i'm feeling sexually frustrated somebody's super horny okay and it's over you aries okay they want to get all in those flowers <laughs> okay it says attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully so they want to enjoy your body, okay, fully. <laughs> All right, more for the Aries. Oh my gosh, okay, it says honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So somebody's really making their moves around the holiday seasons. If you're um, from the States, our holidays are quickly approaching us, all right? We have Halloween, October 31st. And then we have Thanksgiving, uh, November 24th, 26th maybe. And then we have Christmas, the 25th of December. And then we have the first of the year, January 1st, 2025, vastly approaching, okay? So something within the next few months is really gonna kick off. They're really coming forward and they really wanna spend some quality time. They really want to bond. So you might get a invite on a little getaway, a little special. It's gonna be special, okay? I'm feeling like a, a, a very romantic ambiance. All right, okay. What is the message between Aries and their person, quickly? <laughs> the message between Aries and their person. Oh my god, you're fucking kidding me. Aries, get ready. <laughs> Where is it? Four of one. Okay. Here's the four of ones. And here's the ten of cups. I'm just gonna I'm gonna do it like this. Okay, here's the mic dropper. Twin flame. You activated my soul to find my true purpose and destiny in life. You helped me heal in ways no one else could. Thank you for finding me again in this lifetime. All right, Aries, I hope this message helped you. It was really beautiful. Expect a lot of love and happiness and joy in the very near future. Somebody's ready to fight for this connection, to fight for love, to fight to get you back, whatever the case is, because you're worth fighting for. Okay, I'm going to leave it there for the Aries. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate that. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. and let you know every time I upload a video. Also, if you want to book a personal reading, 
All that information is in the description box below. Till next time, baby dolls.